So for today, we're going to make marshmallow fudge. I got this recipe from Nico's Kitchen. Um, I made a few changes in terms of the ingredients that I use. Of course, I have to use the ingredient that is readily available here. And also, there is one step in this tutorial that I didn't follow. So, so the ingredients that we need are marshmallow. I use the tiniest one. I like to use this one because I think it will look great in in my fudge. And also in his tutorial, he um, he used one cup of chocolate chips. Since I can find one here, I'm going to use chocolate bars instead. So here I'm using milk chocolate Goya. Um, you can use whatever brand you have you can use dark or white chocolate it doesn't matter and also one can of condensed milk or sweetened milk and one teaspoon of vanilla flavor or vanilla extract and so before i put it in the stove i'm going to put all the ingredients on my pot so first i'm going to pour in my condensed milk Then we will add the chocolates. So I suggest that you break it into tiny pieces just to make it easier or faster to melt. When then also I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. So in low medium heat, I'm going to melt my chocolate together with my condensed milk. So we have to bring it into a boil. So now all the chocolate is melted. So just keep stirring it so as you can see it's now boiling. So we have to make it a little bit thick before we transfer it into the pan so now it's starting to get thicker okay so i think this is already done so turn off the heat okay and I'm going to add my fudge. So on the pan. See. Just pour it all in. I'm going to add my marshmallows on the top. So make sure that you let the fudge to cool down marshmallow because it's going to melt our marshmallows. So just sprinkle it on top. Make sure that you cover the entire pan with marshmallows so be generous and then put it in the fridge overnight so I like to store it overnight just to make sure that it is solid when we take it out from the pan so here it is so the tricky part here is how can I transfer it into the plate. So, FYI, this is actually my first time to try making fudge. So, I'm not sure though how it's going to turn out. So, as you can see, my fudge is super thin. So, I wish I used a uh, smaller pan. So I'm not sure though if 
I did it. As you can see, it's still wet at the bottom. So, I think it is not fully set. As you can see, so I'm going to use my knife to take it out. It's still soft. So maybe I should have put more chocolate in it. Or maybe um, it is a necessity to use um, chocolate chips. So I'm not sure though. So as you can see, there's more marshmallow there because I added more. So, then I'm going to add more marshmallow on top. So here is the finished product, my marshmallow fudge. So I don't know if this project is a success or fail. So maybe next time if I do make another fudge, I'm going to add more chocolates in it. And so let's try it. I hope the taste is better even it. Even if it didn't set as I wanted it to be. So here, let's taste it. Hmm. In fairness, it tastes delicious. So that's it guys. So you will just have to use a spoon to scoop your fudge. If in case your fudge turn out to be like mine. So if you want to watch Nika's version of Marshmallow Fudge, here's the link. And also don't forget to subscribe and visit my channel for more DIY projects and more. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.